and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a lash with me video so to get started we're going to go ahead and do some hand sanitizer i do this before every client that way we can be as cleanly as possible and we're not spreading things from one client to another i'm just going to go ahead and rub that all in and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna be taking a gel pad. Um, these I get right off of Amazon and I'm gonna be linking most of all of my products down below today so you can see where I got these from. So I'm gonna have her look all the way up and these are gonna go not right on her waterline but a little bit below the waterline. Having them right up to the waterline can be super uncomfortable for the client and can even cause bruising. So we wanna make sure that we're not doing that and the client's as comfortable as possible. Next, we're gonna be taking the Next Care Sensitive Skin Tape um, and I'm gonna be taking a piece and then ripping that piece in half again. And I'm applying this in the shape of an X right up to that waterline um, and getting most of all those bottom lashes. I found that using this method, I don't get the extensions stuck to the gel pads or to the bottom lashes very much anymore. It used to be such an issue for me, but now I'm finding that it happens less and less. And I think it's due to this technique. And this is just the way that I was taught when I got certified and I've been doing it ever since. And I love it. And I love this tape because it doesn't get stuck to my spoolie when I'm brushing out the lashes. So next, we're going to go ahead and prepare her to be cleansed and primed. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. Also, I'm moving all of her hair to the left side. Um, I don't want it all up in the area that I'm working in, getting her hair stuck, possibly getting glue in her hair. That would be just terrifying. So I'm moving it out of my way. And plus, it can be uncomfortable for the client. Then I'm going ahead and uh, I'm going to adjust the gel pads. So when the client closes their eyes, they can kind of shift or move a little bit. There you can see in her inner corner, they're kind of look wonky. So I'm going to fix those so they can lay as flat as possible. And it's easier for me to isolate them. So there you go. You go ahead and watch me do that. So now we're gonna be using the Bella Lash Lash Detox Foaming Cleanser. I love this just because it is a foam and I really feel like the foam gets in there, it gets everything clean, it gets in between the lashes. Uh, also during fills, I love it because it can get in between and really get all that gunk out, all those oils off, and it gets all that makeup, you know, eyeshadow, eyeliners, things like that, even, you know, sometimes mascara, even though that is a no-no, guys no mascara but so we're doing a full set so we're cleaning the clients natural lashes and I'm using the disposable lip wands these are just the easiest method that I have found I don't like using cotton of any kind and using a fluffy brush would just be too much cleaning in between clients and it would be really hard to sanitize them so these I just throw away after every use and I'm going ahead I'm going to do her other eye using this foam and I just pump the foam right onto that little lip brush and I just clean the lashes. It's super duper easy. And as you can see, I'm readjusting her um, under eye pad just because it kept shifting. So don't be afraid to have your clients open their eyes and adjust it because you wanna make sure that they're comfortable and that you're also able to work in that area. So you don't wanna be able to not work there and have a blank spot. So just make sure that you're getting everything all sorted out. But, yep, I'm going ahead and I'm cleaning those lashes right there. So now what we're going to be doing is going in with the Bella Lash Lash Primer. This stuff is amazing. I love it so much. Um... Like I did with the cleanser, I put it on one of those disposable lip wands and I really focus it on those lashes. Um, this gets all those proteins, all those oils off, and it really just create, creates an even playing field just for that um, adhesive to really be able to bond on the lashes. Um, I've never had any issues with it and I think it works amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and be doing that on both eyes. 
And with both of these products, you don't have to use any water to clean them off. So it's just, you know, one and done. And it's perfect. I love it so much. With this, you want to make sure you're getting the tops and the bottoms of the lashes just to make sure you've got everything fully saturated. So now I have my Bella Lash tile down and uh, this is my classic tile. I'm going to be using D curl and I'm doing 0.20 on this client just because she has super full and super strong and healthy lashes. So I'm put, placing tape on my jade stone because this is where our, our adhesive will go and it's just super easy to rip off and throw away. And then I'm going to be refilling the lash little inserts there. So you can just go ahead and watch that. So here I am uh, refilling that little strip there and then we'll be able to go ahead and start lashing. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to map out what I'm going to be doing. So what I'm taking here is a 0.14 millimeter lash and I'm placing it up to her longest length just to measure. And so what I found out was that her lashes were exactly a 0.14 millimeter in length. So the longest I have and that I'm going to use is the 0.15 just so that we can make them at least a little bit longer. Now, this is actually rare that I use that length. Um, usually at my longest length that I use is a 0.13, but this client had some outstanding lashes. They're super long, super healthy. Um, and super strong. So what I'm going to be creating is kind of like a natural slash open eye. So her outer corners are kind of shorter, but her middles are super duper long. So I want to make sure we're adding length. So we're going to do a 15 to 14 to 13 to 12. And then in the inner corners, we're going to be mixing some 11s in there just because they are shorter and thinner. And we're also going to be playing with diameters as well. So like I said, we're going to do a 0.20 for the majority, but for those inners, we're going to be doing 0.18 just because the lashes are uh, shorter and thinner. I used to not map out my sets, but I'm so glad that I started just because it gives me really predictable results. Um, and you can tell if you go back and look at my old work and when I used to not map, can clearly tell the improvement from now that I do map. So now what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm going through each section of the length. So right now I'm doing a 12 and what I do is kind of use the curved tweezers to isolate and I use the straight tweezers to pick up the lash and place it on the, the extension and place it on the natural lash. And whenever I place the extension on the natural lash, I kind of hold the isolation tweezers open for maybe 10, five to 10 seconds, just because if I were to let go right away, I feel like it would get stuck to all the surrounding lashes. And I really don't want that to happen because that is not our goal. The goal is for them to be individual extensions so they can grow out individually and shed individually and then grow back. So if that was not the case and they would get all stuck together and it would just be a mess. So what I do when I'm lashing, um, I don't do one eye at a time also for that reason because I don't want them to get stuck together. So what I do is I work in rounds is what I call them. So right now I'm going through a round and that just means going from length to length across the entire eye. And then after each round, I will use my little mini air conditioning fan and I'll also link that down below and I'll um, blow the fan on there for maybe 10 to 20 seconds. And then, yeah, so you can just see how I'm isolating going through each section or each block across the eye. And this just uh, is a way for me to make sure that I'm being symmetrical, things aren't getting stuck together, and it's just something that I found works better for me. So, yep, you guys can just keep on watching and...
So as you guys have seen, the lashing process may take up to, you know, one, two, three hours for many people. Um, it's very slow and tedious work. This is why it costs so much. Um, it's not, you know, you just slap the lashes on and you're out of there. You know what I mean? So as you can see, I've done maybe two rounds on the lashes going across each eye. And I'm gonna continue to do this until they've gotten super duper full and I can't possibly put another lash on there. So now what I'm gonna have you do is just watch and I'm gonna be throwing in a time lapse in here that way it's not super duper boring. But if you guys have any questions for me, leave them down below. And if you guys wanna see any more lash videos from me, I'd be happy to do them. Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys wanna see. As you guys can see we've gotten her nice and full so I used the tape back method if you guys would like to see a video on that I can totally do that but after that I just want to ensure that I've gotten all of her lashes so I'm going back and doing a few more rounds and then we'll be finished so yep like I said I'm going through isolating and as I'm isolating I'm also ensuring that no lashes are stuck together and I'm unsticking any lashes that have gotten stuck together So now we're all finished. What I'm doing here is I'm using that mini air conditioning fan and brushing through her lashes, just making sure they're all dry and I'm brushing them back just to make sure none are stuck. And yep, that's what I'm doing, just brushing them. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm using a dental mirror and I'm going to be looking at the shape of her lashes. So, and then also when I'm doing this, I'm going to be pulling her lid just to ensure again that no lashes are stuck to the gel pad or stuck to any bottom lashes. And I'm also going to instruct my client to keep her eyes closed because me pulling on her lid may, you know, at, uh, cause her to open her eyes, but I don't want her to do that just yet. Now I'm going to be using my Nano Mister and I'm just spraying the lashes for maybe 10 seconds. And what this does is it cures the adhesive and the client no longer has to wait that 24 hours. But I do recommend it just for extra safety. And then I'm going to be doing the fan again and then we're going to go ahead and seal those lashes and she'll be ready to go.
So here I'm using the Bella Lash Intelliseal. What I'm going to do is take a clean spoolie brush and I'm going to dip it into the actual packaging just like that. And I'm going to brush this through her lashes using a sealant um, just coats the lashes and keeps them clean from any dust, oils, things like that. And it really um, lengthens the retention for the client. So I always do this after every service. And I'm just brushing that through and then we're going to dry it. So here we have it, her full set of classic lashes. After I remove the gel pads, I always have my clients keep their eyes closed and I ask them if they have any burning or irritation. And if they don't, then we're good to go. And there she is, all gorgeous. So thank you guys for watching this Lash With Me video. If you guys would like to see any more lash related videos, just leave me a comment down below. But uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.